Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Stop! My, I know, my voice is raspy. Okay, take two. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I can't be coughing and doing this. <laughs> Corona. I know, just kidding. I have the flu. <laughs> oh, I almost choked on it. Huh? I almost choked on it. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my it's god. out of the gutter. We're you? Just, we're just doing a, well, what is it, like a question? What is... It's a boyfriend tag and like, we're... Your boyfriend? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yes, oh, that's yeah. why you slipped me the $15, makes sense. <laughs> I'm not Nikita Dragon, okay? Who's Shay? <laughs> <laughs> You didn't hear that? That she paid someone to like pretend to be their boyfriend and she paid them? <coughs> I know that someone was actually her boyfriend. I know she paid him. Yeah, the guy that we were watching. That couple? Yeah, that was him. What? Yeah, they had like a big old scandal. Now she's all like, my ex. And he was like, I was never your ex. <laughs> okay, so anyways. I'm so glad we're relevant because <laughs> it would have, oh my god. You would have so much heat on us I know. if we were like something big or anything like that. Oh, I wait. We're just like, we're just, I, like, we're, two we're years just, later. I know. <laughs> right now, we're just little ants in the YouTube community. Yeah, but it's okay. All right, and let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know who I am, I am Ashley Rojas, aka Too Sexy Ashley, and today's video. We're doing the boyfriend tag, and my boyfriend is right here. His name is Jacob. Say hi, Jacob. Hi, oh, <laughs> hi Jacob. Oh my god. Hi. So today, we're going to be going over some questions through Instagram. And yeah, are you excited? Are you nervous? Kind of tired, low-key. You had like, <laughs> you're drinking an energy drink. I know this this. These, these, these. What are these? are <laughs> the, the actually uh, holding me together right now. But I'm ready. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Just do the first one. You read it. Okay. Why am I reading it? <laughs> because you wrote it. <laughs> uh, how did you guys meet? BTW, you guys are, you guys make a cute couple. I can't even Aww. read my hand, right? <laughs> no wonder you made me read it. And how, okay, how did we meet? Oh my god. So we met through Tinder. <laughs> so I was like, you know, doing the whole thing. And then I was like, his picture came up. I'm going to put it in. I, and I was like, whoa. Super like. I didn't know we had people that looked like that in El Paso. And then, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And then you follow up with the whole, you messaged me back. Well, and... okay. So basically, um, I made fun of tinder for the longest time uh i never really i never took anyone serious who actually used the app uh my friends were just like oh get it you're in quarantine why not you know and they, they were being pretty bad uh -huh. so um i was like oh, just to try it just because you know i can't go out in public i can't meet interesting people in public anymore because everyone's in the city oh everyone in the city is in their house and scared to death so we get tinder and Next you know, I look, I, I see this picture of Ashley, and I'm like, bro, oh my god, I'm <laughs> playing Warzone. I'm like, dude, this girl's hot. Oh my gosh, <gasps> she's super hot. <laughs> <laughs> she's really hot. <laughs> That's how hot you were. It was like, ah. No, but she and she ended up super liking me, so I was like, what the heck? And from there, one night, I just messaged her. I was like, hey, want to meet? She was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, right on that, we were playing Warzone, and I'm, I'm sitting here questioning, like, why is she ready to meet? I was, anyway, I was just happy about it. I was like, why not? Because I was bored. I just wanted to, I like, I'm a late night conversation guy. So, yeah, once I met up, I had the car running just in case she was a catfish. And, <laughs> you know, I was kind of worried that you were, like, some 40-year-old man with a gun ready to oh kidnap me. Oh, yeah, because you were so ready to meet me late at night, so I was kind of terrified. Oh, well, yeah, cause <laughs> then, like, the next morning or something. Because I remember that I was doing, like, clinicals, um, and then I was like, okay, why not? So I went. Nah, I was just... I and I didn't know that Tinder was a hookup app. 
okay i thought it was an actual dating app and i just thought like hey my friends are like hey just try it because i know like a bunch of guys that i tried dating and it obviously did not work out and it sucked so they're like tinder and i was like oh yeah i later to find out it was a hookup app oh my god <laughs> i was on it just to see the people who were on it whatever you knew it was a hookup app <laughs> i had no idea i was playing warzone what and then you were like <gasps> are you real <laughs> you don't have to go in depth. <laughs> That's it. Well, yeah, we met up late at night after a Tinder meetup, so. Nothing happened, and though. Then, we talked. Yeah, it was a very nice conversation. <laughs> okay, next question. What is your favorite thing about each other? Ladies your, first? Your eyes. <laughs> your face, oh, your yeah. body. <laughs> <laughs> You're sexy. Wow. All deep and meaningful stuff that keep a relationship together for the rest of our lives. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? I'll take it. Well, that's why I super liked you. you no, know, the that, like obviously, and then you really support everything that I do. And not a lot of guys really do that. And like, it means a lot to me. There's a bunch of insecure guys, so he's really confident within himself. He's not jealous he's not insecure he really supports everything that i do so that's like probably one of the things that i like that you're very confident within yourself believe it or not this is the first time i hear because you're fucking cute <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like you like me and she's like yeah and i'm like why she goes because you're freaking cute <laughs> and I I'm like, oh, okay just for the looks oh yeah genetics <laughs> oh my god this is so bad i know um, um, um what i really like about you is the fact that you actually appreciate everything that i do and it's kind of rare because mm. every single person that i've been with has taken every single thing i did for granted and it's the fact that you could i could actually be myself and you know just do my little weird things i'm, I'm kind of goofy and i do you know some you know we all have our own weird niches and she laughs at them and she accepts them for who I am. And sometimes I'll do the littlest thing and she makes a big deal about it. And the thing is, it makes me happy because I feel like I don't have to pretend to be somebody else. So. Oh, yeah. you're so cute. Are you going to cry? No. Are you going to cry? <laughs> okay. Baby. Next one, need it. Okay. What's your number one couple goal for 2020? To take a shot on December 31st at 11.59. And thank the Lord on this is all over. Yeah, <laughs> We're all taking shots. It really <laughs> sucked. I don't know, like, <laughs> I still think we're just still going to be in this whole, like, pandemic and everything. But I think the goal that I want as a couple, I think we already established, like, hey, you know what? Um, we are really wanting to do do this whole influencer thing and I think that's like probably one of our goals is to actually you know be consistent with it and follow up with our dreams with that um we have a lot of plans to do but I think the first step is to be consistent on YouTube TikTok and this whole thing together as a couple because that's yeah. rare to really it's do it's just a matter of supporting each other through our dreams really because, uh, you know, the whole traditional, you know, way of living just doesn't resonate with me. It doesn't resonate with her either. So it was, I don't know, I got kind of lucky meeting her. So it was kind of amazing that we get have the support system with each other. And the fact we don't have to worry about one of us judging each other. So it's kind of cool. We have the same ambitions. And at the end of the day, it's just a lot of money, a lot of freedom, and being happy while doing it. So, yeah. Your next YouTube couple. <laughs> Out of like 10 million. I know, right? Oh, that's not common. No. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I think we already answered that. What do you like about each other? Like a physical? Or like... Well, it does break into subcategories. Like, I really love the cute shit you do. <laughs> it's like the other day, we were always playing uh, Avengers. The, the new game that came out 
and she was like, so are you going to come over? Oh, my God. And she was being all weird and energetic. And then she started saying, energy, energy, oh my God. energy. <laughs> and she acts like a little girl, but I love it because it's so cute. Yeah. But <laughs> she acts like a child. And I think that's what I really like about you is that you're so playful. And I love that because I'm kind of an idiot myself. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I you're calling me I, an idiot? Yep. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> well, we're going to redo this section. All right. So the next question, I think we already talked about it in the other one. Like, what's your favorite thing about each other? But this one is, what do you like about each other? Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. <laughs> I'm just telling you it's just the genetics. I, just kidding. No, the one thing I really like about you is that, like I said, you're very supportive. And I never had... Um, a partner that's very supportive in what I do because obviously the modeling and DJing and want to be an influencer and doing doing this whole like social media thing a lot of guys are just like very insecure and they're like no I don't want you to model no I don't want you to do pageants no I don't want you to DJ and Jacob's all like go babe do it like no like I want to see you like make it and I was just like oh I think that's what I like I used to be very supportive I'm just like how goofy you are. You're freaking cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm of you. It's because you're freaking cute. Because you're freaking cute. <laughs> Girl, I'm a fan. I want to like slap you though and get your face all over my head. I know. I'm going to like my whole face. <laughs> ah, but it's just the fact that you're extremely playful and goofy. You're very childlike and I love that about you because I could just have fun with you. Aww. That's a bit. <laughs> I mean, what's a relationship without fun? That's the thing. That's it's like, true. If you can't have fun with each other, it's kind of boring. It's like, oh, what's up? Hi. Bye. You know, yeah, bye. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> On your phone. I don't know. I feel like fun should <laughs> be I <laughs> everything. Oh. But yeah, nah, it's just I have a lot of fun with you. Uh, who is more emotional? Ashley. No. Cries every single time. She either nicks an eyelash or something. Nicks an she, eyelash? Uh, I don't know. I'm just making up. I don't know how that stuff works. I'm making up something as an example. But like the littlest things, it's like... <laughs> like you just start crying. Oh. So you're so emotional. I don't know. I think it's you. I don't know. I think you're most emotional. Provide reasoning, please. Will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> the second day. You were all in your feelings, too. That was really cute. Yeah, he asked me on the second day. And I said no. <laughs> and then five months later, he asked again, and I said yes. But that's why I think you're you're very, like, you win that one. You just exposed me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just exposed me. What? It was really cute. He was all like, I know we only met, but <laughs> you be my girlfriend. And then I was just like, you don't know if I'm crazy. <laughs> and then I kissed you. Next question. Okay. <laughs> um, is he your boyfriend? Yes, he is. He is my boyfriend. All of this is mine. Since when? Since September the 14th, 2020. You remember? Oh yes. Okay, this one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's wrong with the hell wrong with people? I don't know. That's weird. Um, How's the sex? We're saving each other for marriage. Okay, next question. <laughs> <laughs> Did you start dating after your OnlyFans? And how does he feel about it? Okay, I think you should answer that question because everyone is really wanting to know. Okay. Um, well, we started dating before. She had OnlyFans. I was actually the one who helped her come up with a decision to start doing one. She had no idea. She was terrified. And <laughs> I said, honestly, why not? The reason being is because on her OnlyFans, she is very specific with how she does it. She doesn't show any nudity or anything like that. If anything, it's exclusive lingerie modeling, modeling that you sh that she used to post a lot on her Instagram. And honestly, I didn't think it was that bad. I was 
you're basically getting paid to model so yeah why not get paid for it i mean as long as there's no i was a little worried that if she was gonna do nudity that would have been the line for me because that is kind of the line I... uh, um but i personally don't think that you modeling in lingerie for people who happen to want to look at those pictures all right you know, by all means, it's not that bad. <laughs> if you think about it, they're just modeling pics. It's mm -hmm. nothing too crazy. So honestly, I support it 100%. Uh, if anything, sometimes it's push her to go a little harder on it. Just because I know that she stresses out a lot. Because she just likes to perform at her highest at everything she does. So she like, she basically overthinks a lot. And she psychs herself out. So I try to help her out a little bit on those areas. So no, I support it 100%. Because it's nothing crazy. It's nothing bad. Um, it's just showing off, you know, the beauty that God gave her. So, Aww. See, a confident yeah. and secure guy. That's what you need. Not those insecure little boys. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Who made the first move? <laughs> I did, right? I kissed you first. Yep. And you were like, what? <laughs> and one of my reactions was like, Aww. what? Yes. Do it again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Like, I kissed you first. You were just so cute. So I just went for it. I know. I, I am cute. It was literally like right after you rejected me, too. So it was mm -hmm. like. I was like, no, I like, no, but I like you. We'll get there. <laughs> well, How do I know if you were crazy? Huh? But how would I know if you were crazy? Do you think I'm crazy? About me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, this one but, yeah. really good. You're drinking my drink. Okay, your turn. Mm. Mm, it's like a... These are good. <laughs> These are good. <laughs> Last question. Who is more jealous between you two? Jelly. Let's That's see. a good one. Mm. Um, like, no, we're not jealous, yeah. no, I don't think any of us have really shown any signs of jealousy. Mm -hmm. I've always trusted her, and she's always trusted me. Um, I've seen plenty of guys flirt with her, and I've seen and plenty of DMs of thirsty. To I am just kidding, thirsty girls, and his DMs, and I was just so like, he'll show me, and we'll just start laughing about it, like. I don't think it was not like, oh no, why are you following her? Or no, you blocked this person. It's more of like, I keep talking because like, you know, sell them on supplements, you know? <laughs> but, you take every single DM I get as a business opportunity. Yes, you know, oh like, because also think about it. If Start we ever, right? You can. Maybe I'll post an interview or something. <laughs> <laughs> so we are, we are not really jealous whatsoever but um but yeah like i feel like with those situations if he ever wants to like have his own fitness brand or like a uh, merch line or whatever obviously those are potential customers so like i'm not gonna be like no uh block this person don't talk to her it's obviously like there's really pretty girls that message him and it's just like well he, he's with me he's committed to me and i trust him and yeah don't fuck it i just get it <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm, I just get it. i'm gonna get after you just kidding not really right. hey, well you say you're gonna cut me so like every single time i'm not she said it like four times now i'm not sure if you're lying or not i i i'm just exposing myself yeah she's kind of crazy <laughs> Oh, you're so good. It's not mine. It's like a splash of flavor. We're gonna <laughs> sponsored by sponsored <laughs> by Alani New. I'm telling you, this is actually one of my favorite energy drinks. Like it tastes so amazing. She has like all these. Which brings flavors. us to our video sponsored. Three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like everyone clicks off as soon as you say that. I know, right? No, this is not sponsored. Not yet. I just can't. <laughs> but um, no. So, why do you think we're not jealous of each other? Trust. Trust, or you think because we like established 
you know, we know what we want because we still have the same goals. So it's like we understand that if a person messages you, like engagement and everything like that, have interaction with your with your audience is very important and the stuff that we want to do. So I think that's why. So what do you think? As yeah, a guy, because it's trust, to be honest with you. Because for guys, I feel like they're more like jealous, you know, very oh, like territorial, time, yeah. and it's just like, why don't you feel like that? Especially I trust you. Having <laughs> someone like me, I I. <laughs> I trust you. I don't know what else to say. I don't know. I Tell you. me. I trust you. <laughs> like what? A, what do I want? Like, do you, I'm like, I don't think you're going to, like, sleep with your photographers or anything like no. that. No. Everything's, like, a business professional. and. I mean, look at Anna Cherie and her man, so. That's a really big example. Nah, like, there's really no other way to put it. Like, I'm not, like, one of those, you know, I'll tell you what to wear, when to wear it, how to wear it. Why are you wearing that? Put on something else. And don't you just, like, love those guys? No. Those are my favorite guys to talk to. <laughs> mm-hmm. it's like, I don't like that. No, no, I've never been that type of guy. It's like I've always been secure of myself and she could do what she wants. I mean as long as it's not disrespectful or anything. It's like you know, she's not flirting with any other guys or anything like that, so No, we're all good. Everything I mean the photos and all that, it's professional, she gets paid. It's just her profession. It's like if you're going to date a Victoria's Secret model, you're going to get mad at her for being a Victoria's Secret model. That is true. Because they're very, yeah, because they do. They wear thongs. Yeah. So it's like, why would I get mad at her for her profession, what she wants to do? And, you know, she's doing it to be professional, not to be skimpy. Runchy. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I guess, I guess it's just a matter of intention. That's true. But, like, if she were to be doing it just to attract other guys, okay, that's unnecessary, but. Not for attention, no. No, yeah, exactly. It's like, for so you're not getting paid and you're only doing it for attention? Yeah. From other that's... guys? That's a different oh, story. Okay. That's a different story. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, you're not getting paid, you're only taking those pictures to see how many guys you could pull. No. It's that's like... a different, yeah, see, that's a different, it's because I, again, that it kind of circles around trust. Trust, and yeah, we know, like, yeah. what we're doing, like, what goals we're trying to get. Yeah, so it's... I mean, I guess it's it's very simple. We turned a, such a simple concept into something complicated. I know. Just, I trust you. Right, so. Why is this going to death? Because I'm not, I mean, I've always said, I'm that type of guy, because I like to have fun. I'm that type of guy, like, if you and I were to go to a bar or something like that, and I see these guys flirting with you, I would actually want to set up this thing where it's like, you pr- we pretend we don't know each other. And uh-huh. then you're at the bar just chilling, having guys fun. And then I'll pretend like I'm some guy trying to flirt with you, and I pull you away from everyone else. And, you know, I'm the guy who stood up for above the rest. Aye, so aye. I, I don't know, some cool, like, little play like that. Or play. I just can't. I caught. <laughs> Demonetize. <laughs> oh, whoops. Whoopsies. <laughs> no, but yeah, I think something like that would be pretty cool. Or we set something up like that. That'd be funny. Like our little routine. A routine? Yeah, it's like we don't know each other, but all these guys are like circled around you. And I happen to be the guy that just pulls you out of everyone else and they're like, what the fuck? Hey, hey. Like, I win. Oh, you're cute. But, yeah, I don't know. It's I like our relationship. It's very different from what I had um, in the past. He's very supportive. He's obviously so good looking. My goodness gracious. Look. Like, show them your, your green eggs. I, <laughs> I don't feel good doing this. <laughs> You're cute. All right, you guys. So that is it for the Q&A slash boyfriend tag. And <laughs> make sure to follow us on Instagram. Mine is uh, Too Sexy Ashley and Jacob will be and Jacoby right Allen underscore. Jacoby? Jacoby. Jacob. Jacoby. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. So let us know what you think about our video. Make sure to subscribe and click on the post notifications for more videos. And thank you guys for watching. And see you guys next time. Peace.